thank you for the presence in the Holy Spirit. We thank you that His presence drives away every darkness. It drives away demons. It drives away sickness. It drives away curses. It drives away our bondages and our addictions. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Put your hands together one more time for Jesus Christ. If uh, people can come and help me pray and George and if also Alex if you're able uh, come and help me pray right now we are going to come to a time of we are going to pray for our city we're going to pray for our generation and you know right now there's been a lot of talks about this shooting that happened last week where uh, the 16 people that got killed and there's 24 that got wounded and a lot of investigation political spectrum is using that shooting everyone to push his own agenda uh, some people blame this and blame that different racial and religious groups and and everything but in reality is since 3600 BC the world until this point so 2000 years plus 3600 five and a half thousand years the world in five and a half thousand years has only enjoyed 200 92 years of peace we have had 14,351 wars there was no guns when the first family lived on the earth and one man there was only family there was no other races or religions just one family and in that family a guy took a stone and beat the living lights out of his own brother and murdered him. Evil started long ago when we surrendered to Satan. Politicians will do their best, some of them won't. But we must understand we are not fighting against terrorism. We are not even fighting against Islam. We are not fighting a physical battle we have been in a battle in the beginning since Adam refused to have dominion over the devil he handed over his dominion to Satan and Satan willingly took it and because of that 3.6 billion people have been removed out of this earth not because of sickness not because of death but because they've been killed financial damage that has cost to this earth this physical battle is a golden belt around the world that's 97 miles wide and 33 feet thick 97 miles wide all around the earth and 33 feet thick golden belt has been wasted on a man killing another man not on a man prospering another man not on a man helping the poor our world would have been swimming in riches if we would have removed one thing out of this earth war but we can't the reason why is because in the world we don't see there is a war that is thicker stronger and bloodier and this war is not against Islam Nazism fascism communism it's against demonic kingdom and we are at war I want us to understand right now each person here which church you're coming from it or if you're not religious at all you have a responsibility to pray for the world you live in because this world is in war you already have your soldier boots on and you have to engage in this war and win this war if you don't win this war the byproduct will be is our neighborhoods will no longer be safe I got a letter this week saying that the government has issued a terrorist act insurance policy that means if my property gets damaged by terrorist act it will be covered and the properties in United States up to a hundred billion dollars that act was completely non-existent until last week 
with refugees coming from Syria to Richland a lot of people feel uncomfortable now why because people don't recognize we are not fighting against Islam we are not fighting against a religion we are not fighting against even group of people we are fighting against evil and evil can take any shape any form it can use a knife it could use a gun it, it used a stone it could use a fork it could use anything and we have to fight that evil not through politics but through prayer through our prayer we have to unite together as Christians. Let the government does what government needs to do. But we need to do what only we can do. And that is we can move the hand of heaven. We can shift the spiritual atmosphere. And we can break the power of the devil. Yeah, we may not break it over the world. But we can break it over our world. We can break it over our city. We can break it over our region. We can break it over our family. We can break it over our generation. Somebody say amen it is in your responsibility today you are responsible for your world things in the spiritual world can shift the devil can lose the ground and our city our region will not just be a safe place but it will be a place of salvation a place where people will be rescued by the power of Jesus Christ can somebody say amen when our Jesus came on this earth a thousand years ago he never once encouraged war he told the guys to hide the swords he said this won't fix the problem he says you'll kill the evil person but you never can kill an evil in the person with a sword evil in the person is only removed by God's power and the Holy Spirit it cannot be removed with a gun you can put them into asylum you can put them on an electric chair you can electrocute them drown them kill them you can do whatever you want to do but the evil in them is not removed by those terms it is only removed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and that power is available to us today I want us right now to begin the first of all first prayer I want us to pray is I want us to receive our assignment to win the war you are not a spectator you are a soldier in the army of God you are a soldier I want you to in this prayer first of all say Lord God I receive my assignment as a spiritual soldier in this war to win a war for my family, to win the war for my generation, for my schools and for our generation in Jesus name. If you're with me right now, if you're saying I agree with you, I want to fight together and I receive that assignment. Just lift your hand right now. Let's begin to pray. I want us to pray this first prayer. If you're saying I agree and I receive that assignment to be the soldier right now in the army of God.